Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Holt Hanley. Good evening. Well, that storm came through, dropped some great rainfall over the central coast today. We'll just take one final look at those totals. Over an inch in the Santa Cruz Mountains, over two inches in Big Sur. As always, less in the Salinas Valley, but we are adding these totals onto that rain that we picked up two days ago, so not a bad week for the central coast. And there is still some rain falling. You notice most of that moderate to even heavy rainfall at times has moved on. We do still have a few scattered showers out there. It looks like directly over Salinas right now, but the bulk of it is up in the Sierra at this point. And then it looks like clearer skies filling in behind that, which is something that we've been talking about. It is just interesting to see the water vapor imagery today. That, that blue represents where the most moisture was. And it was almost just like a river flowing right over the central coast. Wasn't exactly one of those atmospheric river events, which was actually a good thing because sometimes those can lead to widespread flooding or mudslides. But we did have some of the highest rainfall totals across the state because of that. And then it does look like it's starting to weaken now. Although we are going to be seeing that storm start to move in overnight and then into Sunday. So just looking at this clouds and wind map, you notice most of that heavy precipitation has now moved up into the Sierra. That's where they're gonna be picking up one to possibly even three feet of snow. And then the rain that's set to come in tomorrow is due to this low off of the coast. Main thing that I noticed though, it's, it looks like a fairly weak system. It's not one of those storms where we have heavy rainfall throughout California. And it almost looks like the majority of it is up towards our north and central coast. The bulk of our rain already fell throughout the day today. Now with that snow building into the Sierra though, that's a pretty great map to see, especially if you're a skier or snowboarder. We will continue to see some of that snow fall throughout the day tomorrow mixed with some 50 to 60 mile per hour winds. So because of that, we've got that winter storm warning in effect and where we have that heavy rain right now, we also have that flood advisory. So just something to think if you're heading up to the mountains tomorrow. If you're staying on the central coast, there's that little break in the rain, kind of the break between the two storms that we've been talking about this weekend. And then we start to see some of those lighter showers show up tomorrow morning. And then while well, tomorrow morning is a chance for rain, tomorrow afternoon, just a slight chance, might even have some periods where that sunshine starts to come out. Although rain should be on and off until Monday. Interesting to look at the totals expected though. Another quarter inch in the Santa Cruz Mountains, but that's really just a small amount compared to the totals that we've already racked up throughout this week. So tomorrow morning, expect that chance for some rain, on and off showers throughout the day, and then maybe even a little sun popping out tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures though, very similar to where we were today, 55 to 60 degrees. Eight day forecast shows that slight chance of rain does continue into Monday, sun coming back out on Wednesday. And then what I like to see those overnight lows, not as close to freezing as they have been the next two days.